Okay, so first of all, I'm going to take the Anastasia Dip Brow in Ebony with a Zoeva 317 Winged Liner Brush. And as you can see, I've already done my brows, so if you'd like a tutorial, just let me know. And then I'm just going to take the MAC Select Cover Up in MW15 with the Zoeva 233 Cream Shadow Brush. I'm just going to pat this product onto the lid and underneath the lid, as you'll see in a minute. Um, as you can see, I've already carved out my brows using this product. Um, it's a really good product to carve out your brows with because it gives quite good coverage if you pack it on. And in my opinion, the base is the most important part. So if you pack on that product, then you're more likely to have an even application with your eyeshadow. So as you can see, I'm just packing that on, on, on the under the eye and on the lid. I'm just doing the same on the other eye. And I'm, as you can see I'm bringing that product quite far down past the eye just because this is quite a smoked out look. I'm then I'm going to take the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm just going to buff out the edges using that brush. I'm then going to take the Zoeva 222 All Over Shader Brush um, with my MAC Warm Neutrals palette and I'm just going to take the cream colour, like the creamy, and just set that concealer in place so you don't get any crease in. I'm then taking the 221 Soft Crease Brush from Zoeva and Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie and this is going to be my first transition shade and I'm just going to put this onto the lid in my crease and just blend it upwards towards the brow and you'll do like circular motions. Then I'm going to apply it underneath the eye and just join that all together at the edge and just make sure it's all nice and blended. I'm just doing the same on the other eye. And then I'm going to take Makeup Geek Creme Brulee and this is just a dark transition shade and I'm just going to lay this over the top just to create a bit more definition thing that you want to do is you want to layer your colours up, you want to make sure that you've got a nice even blend with it all, with the colours that you put on. You've just got to layer them up and then you'll get the best result in the end because they'll be nice and blended out. So as you can see I'm just blending that into the crease and underneath and then doing the same on the other eye. And then taking that Real Techniques Del Deluxe Crease Brush again and just buffing out the edges to make sure it's all seamless. I'm going to take the Anastasia Contour Kit with the darkest shade and I'm just going to use this to again add more definition and add a bit more darkness and colour to the, the look. Just making sure all those edges are buffed in together and uh, blended out because you don't want any harsh lines. And we're going to take Makeup Geek Creme Brulee and again just applying this over the top, just layering it up. The more layers, the, the better blended it'll be. Just using circular motions again with that same, um, the same brush we used in the beginning, this Look Soft Crease brush. I'm going to take Makeup Geek Chickadee. Uh, this is like um, a yellowy orange toned eyeshadow and this is just going to add a bit of bit of depth to it just to blend those colours together nicely. I'm then taking MAC Nylon on a 234 smoky shade of brush from Zoeva. I'm just packing this under the brow um, for my brow bone highlight, brow bone highlight um, making sure you just press it into the skin. You can add as much or as little as you want of this product depending on the result that you want. And then going back in with that Zoeva crease brush just to make sure all the edges are blended together and just blending those transition colours with the brow bone highlight. I'm then going to take the Lux Petite crease brush from Zoeva and take MAC Fig One eyeshadow and I'm just going to lightly put this into the crease, the outer corner and bring it round into the crease and underneath the eye. This is like a really like a quite intense purple colour um, and this is just going to add the purple colour that you want into the look. 
I'm just going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend those colours together, just making sure that all the lines are seamless. I'm just going to keep going back and forth between the Fig One eyeshadow and the blending brush just to make sure that it's nicely blended together. As you can see it's just very repetitive and you just keep going over the same steps just to make sure that it's nice and blended together. And I'm just now doing the same on the other eye. I'm now going in with Makeup Geek Bitter and with that same petite crease brush I'm just again putting it in the outer corner and just blending it round into the crease and under the lower lash line. This is just going to add a lot more definition as it's quite, it's like a dark burgundy shade and this is obviously the main colour of the look as well as the purple and those two colours blended together just look amazing and again just going in with the um, blending brush and just blending all the colours together. And making sure that there's no harsh lines because that's the way you're going to achieve like the smoky blown out look is just making the blending is the most important part so just keep going in and then also going in with the real techniques to crease brush again and just buffing out the edges um into that concealer making sure that there's no harsh edges i'm now going in with Punk from the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and again with that um, petite crease brush just adding it again layering it onto the, the previous colour this is an even darker um, like maroony burgundy colour and this is going to add a lot more depth into the, the eye look and just going in with the blending brush and blending all the colours together as we did previously you're just packing on the colours, packing them on in layers and making sure that they're all nicely blended together. So then I went in with the NYX Jet Black Mousse Liner but I didn't record it because I wasn't even in the frame. Um, but I'll show you that product now. And then I went in with Urban Decay Blackout and just smoked out, just set the liner um, to make sure that there was no transferring onto the, right in the crease or onto the lid. And then I just went in with the same blackout with that small petite crease brush and just brought it up and round into the crease in the outer corner just to add some depth and white darkness to the look just to make it a bit more smoky and a bit more darker. As you can see I'm not really in frame. Um, I went and applied a coal liner underneath in my um, waterline but for some reason my camera didn't record it <laughs> again so I'm just going in with that blackout eyeshadow and just smoking out that lower lash line and bringing it round into the outer corner and up into the crease just swap swapping between that petite crease brush and the blending brush just making sure that all this all the colours are blended together and there's no harsh lines <laughs> So after this my camera died and I didn't actually record me putting the black on my other eye but you get the idea. I just did exactly the same as I did on this eye and the other eye. And I also applied some lashes and my camera did die as well but here are the lashes I applied. I'm not sure what they are. I'll try and find out. So then I went in with my trusty MAC Studio Fixing NC15 with a stippling brush from Zoeva. Um, it's just like the little one. Um, and just applied this all over my face. making sure that you blend it down your neck so that there's no lines or anything and onto your ears and into your hairline. I then went in with my Anastasia contour kit and a angled contour brush from Zoeva and I used the two darker shades from the palette and I just used this to contour my face. Um, I just did the hollow, like the con my um, cheekbones 
and my nose at this point I think did I do my nose? I don't think I did at this point just my cheekbones <laughs> Then I went in with Mary Luminizer by The Balm, uh, which is a beautiful champagne highlight. And I just used the Lux Highlight Brush from Zoeva and used this to apply the highlight to the high points of my face. So my top of my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, um, my chin, and like round my round my eyes and onto my forehead. obviously because you can't get enough of a highlight um, I then after I applied this went in with MAC Nylon which is also again a lovely highlight to use on your face um, if you want that intense highlight I just went in and applied that again to the high points of my face I went back in with the angle contour brush and just applied a little bit more product and just blended that into the um, highlighter just to make sure that there was no lines or anything that was on there so blended together and I also added it to my forehead, the sides of my nose and my jawline. So then I went in with Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. It's just a clear plumping lip gloss um, and I applied that to my lips. And yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed video and I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.